Hey everyone, it's Zach with Cascade Refining. Uh, today we're going to be testing some silver. We have some spoons here, um, a little gold colored one. Um, this is what we call vermil, so I'll show you how we can tell the difference with vermil and actual solid gold. And we have a bracelet here. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first step, as with all of our tests, is we uh, put a nice grind mark on there. Um, I did a little bit of a large grind mark on all these just so you can see a little bit better what's going on. Uh, normally it's just we just require a small spot on there. So we'll take our nitric acid here. And you can see it's fizzing up and some orange smoke coming off of there. That's because it's a copper based metal. We'll do it with this next one here. Yeah, so both these spoons you can see are just plated. Um, it's most likely a nickel silver that's under there. Nickel silver is actually just a an alloy of copper and nickel that creates a silvery colored metal, which is why it's called nickel silver. There's actually no silver contained in nickel silver. And then on this gold colored one here, it is marked 925, so we do know that it's silver but it does have this gold color. This is what we call vermil. I don't know if you can see uh, right here is where I put the grind mark on there and it's silvery colored under there. So, and this other one here is just, it's actually, this one's also marked 925 so we just put a file mark on there and we'll put some nitric acid on it. As you can see, there's not a whole lot happening, a little minor color change. Uh, that's, that's because the nitric acid is slowly eating away at the silver. Um, and it's creating what's called silver nitrate. So we'll get a little more acid on here just to show you what's going to happen. So once the acid touches the silver, it starts eating it away really slowly, creating silver nitrate. So then we take a sodium chloride solution, which is just a fancy name, fancy way of saying salt water. And once the salt water hits the silver nitrate, there's a chemical reaction that happens. So you can see it's all turning white. And that's because the uh, Silver nitrate and the sodium chloride combine and create a silver chloride. So that's how we know that it's solid silver. On these other spoons here that we tested, this is the reason that we do put a grind spot. Um, if you put a little drop of acid on there, you can see that this plating is very thin. It's already starting to turn green. But if we put the salt water on it, it'll still create a little bit of the silver chloride so that's why we put a nice grind, big grind spot on there just so we can get a better idea of what's going on with it so we'll give this guy a rinse here Yeah, so all this white stuff here, if you had a whole bunch of it, you could melt it down into silver. And this last piece here, like I said, it's gold plated over silver. So we'll put a little drop of acid on it. And I don't know if you can see, but the silver part darkened a little bit, but there's no other reaction other than that. Um, it's actually not reacting with the gold part, so that's another reason why we put a grind spot on the pieces, because we don't want to mistakenly buy something that's silver for the price of gold. So then we'll just take our sodium chloride, put a drop on there, and as you can see it turned white again. So that's how we know this one's silver. So that about does it for our silver test. I appreciate you watching and come see us sometime at our store in Layton.